Bismillahirrohmanirrohim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning my student How are you today? I hope all of you are fine and healthy ya. As you know our country was affected the coronavirus We think I was in a class with all of you to telling me about your Easter holidays Hoping This is going to be over soon so we can get back to normal, I mean. To increase your speaking skill, you should be practiced more and more. That's why Miss Norma asks you to make a short speech about the coronavirus. Then, to make you get the idea to speech, I will give you some reference about the coronavirus. Here, some video about the coronavirus for your reference. There was a cluster of pneumonia cases in China. Investigations found that it was caused by a previously unknown virus, now named the 2019 novel coronavirus. In this video, we'll take a quick look at what's currently known about the virus. Keep in mind that this is a new virus, and what's known about the virus now might change in the future. Coronaviruses are a large group of viruses. They consist of a core of genetic material surrounded by an envelope with protein spikes. This gives it the appearance of a crown. Crown in Latin is called corona, and that's how these viruses get their name. There are different types of coronaviruses that cause respiratory and sometimes gastrointestinal symptoms. Respiratory disease can range from the common cold to pneumonia, and in most people, the symptoms tend to be mild. However, there are some types of coronaviruses that can cause severe disease. These include the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus, first identified in China in 2003, and the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus that was first identified in Saudi Arabia in 2012. The 2019 novel coronavirus was first identified in China. It initially occurred in a group of people with pneumonia who'd been associated with a seafood and live animal market in the city of Wuhan. The disease has since spread from those who were sick to others, including family members and healthcare staff. There are many cases at present, and the disease has spread within China and also to a number of other countries. So, where did the virus come from? It's known that coronaviruses circulate in a range of animals. Sometimes these viruses can make the jump from animals to humans. This is called a spillover and could be due to a range of factors, such as mutations in the virus or increased contact between humans and animals. For example, MERS-CoV is known to be transmitted from camels and SARS-CoV from civet cats. The animal reservoir of the 2019 novel coronavirus is not known yet. How is it transmitted? The exact dynamics of how the virus is transmitted is yet to be determined. In general, respiratory viruses are usually transmitted through droplets created when an infected person coughs or sneezes or through something that has been contaminated with the virus. People most at risk of infection from the novel coronavirus are those in close contact with animals, such as live animal market workers, and those who are caring for people infected with the virus, such as family members or healthcare workers. So, how does the disease present? Well. From what is known so far, there can be a number of symptoms ranging from mild to severe. There can be fever and respiratory symptoms such as cough and shortness of breath. In more severe cases, there's been pneumonia, kidney failure, and death. The mortality rate is not known yet. How can we tell whether someone is infected? The infection can be diagnosed by a test called PCR, or polymerase chain reaction. This test identifies the virus based on its genetic fingerprint. There is currently no specific medication for the virus, and treatment is supportive care. There is currently no vaccine to protect against the virus. Treatment and vaccines are in development. How do we prevent transmission of the virus? This new virus currently has a limited geographic spread. However, there are a number of standard hygiene practices that have been recommended to protect against infection and further spread. These include Covering your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing with a medical mask, tissue, or flexed elbow. Avoiding close contact with those who are unwell. The appropriate use of masks and personal protective equipment, especially in a healthcare setting. Washing hands regularly with soap and water or alcohol-based hand rub. 
Actions that can be taken to prevent infection from an animal source include avoiding unnecessary unprotected contact with animals, washing hands after contact with animals or animal products, and ensuring that animal products are cooked thoroughly before they're consumed. It's important to stay home if you're feeling unwell, but if you have a fever, cough, and difficulty breathing, seek medical care early and share your previous travel history with your healthcare provider. That's a quick look at this emerging infectious disease. Given that this outbreak is evolving rapidly, what's known about this virus can change. Please check the websites below for the most up-to-date information. Exploring the new coronavirus from NPR, National Public Radio. It's a word you might have heard at school or online or on TV. Sniff, sniff. Ah! What? He might have the coronavirus! OMG, OMG, OMG! Wait, what is that? This coronavirus is a newly discovered virus. It causes a disease called COVID-19. In some parts of the world, it has made lots of people sick. Coronavirus facts. Corona is Latin for crown. Under a microscope, these viruses look like a crown with spikes ending in little blobs. A lot of the symptoms are similar to the flu, which you might have had before. Dry, itchy cough. <coughs> fever. So hot. Kind of hard to breathe. Most people who have gotten sick with this coronavirus have had a mild case, and there aren't a lot of cases in kids. If kids do get the virus, it tends to be very mild. Mild means not very strong. Like mild salsa is the least spicy. I myself prefer spicy salsa, crunch, crunch. People who are much older or who already have health problems are more likely to get sicker with coronavirus. What about dad and mom and grandma and grandma and uncle and auntie? If anyone gets sick and feels like they might have coronavirus, they can immediately call their doctors and get help. Well, what's the verdict, doc? You're okay. Phew. In the U.S., we don't have a lot of coronavirus cases. Medical people are tracking the disease very carefully and are trying to make sure it doesn't spread. Let's find that coronavirus! The virus is somewhere out in the world. And let's stop it! If there's anything you might be confused or worried about, don't be afraid to ask someone you trust. Uncle, I see a lot of people wearing face masks. Does that mean they have coronavirus? No. Maybe they're trying not to get sick, or they may be sick with some other illness. But my friend at school told me, don't listen to your friend, listen to me. There are some things you can do to protect yourself, family, and friends from getting sick. One, wash your hands often. Use soap and water. Wash for at least 20 seconds. If it helps, sing the ABCs while you do it. That's about 20 seconds. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T. Hey, slow down over there. Wash after using the bathroom or being in public spaces like the bus or playground. U V W X. Try to get into all the nooks and crannies. Two, sneeze into your elbows. Coronavirus is believed to spread through little droplets of fluid from your lungs. Achoo! These little droplets carry germs. Yuck! That's why you should always cover your mouth. If you sneeze into your elbows, you can prevent germs from going into the air and into your hands. Three, avoid touching your face. Don't pick your nose. Don't touch your mouth. Don't rub your eyes. These are all the places where germs enter our bodies. But I love picking my nose. Jeez, you can still do it. You just use a tissue, then throw it away. It's very important to remember that this kind of virus can affect anybody. It doesn't matter where you come from or what country your parents are from. Hmm. Just because someone looks different or talks differently doesn't mean that they are at a higher risk of getting the coronavirus or spreading it. 
And don't forget, there are a lot of helpers out there who are working to protect you. It is not your job to worry. Family, doctors, teachers, helpers of all kinds. But seriously though, please, wash your hands! If you're worried how contagious COVID-19 is, let's have a look at this graph from Popular Science, where one sick per person is represented by a yellow dot, and then the people that come into contact with that sick person, how many actually catch the disease, is represented in orange. So you can see in the second row on the far left side, COVID-19, for every one person that's infected, they infect on average about two and a half. Uh, on the bottom row uh, and on the far right in the middle, things that you probably heard of before because of your vaccinations, measles, mumps, smallpox, rubella, um, these are m much more contagious. They, you have been protected through vaccines through them and doctors and scientists are currently working on protections for COVID-19. But in the meantime, don't forget to wash those hands. COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by a new coronavirus introduced to humans for the first time. It is spread from person to person, mainly through the droplets produced when an infected person speaks, coughs or sneezes. These droplets can land in the mouths or noses of people who are nearby. These droplets are too heavy to travel far in the air. They only travel approximately one metre and quickly settle on surfaces. This is the reason person-to-person -person spread is happening mainly between close contacts. The exact time that the virus can survive on surfaces is not yet known. So it is wise to clean surfaces regularly, particularly in the vicinity of people infected with COVID-19. Hands touch many surfaces, which can be contaminated with the virus. You should therefore avoid touching your eyes, nose or mouth, since contaminated hands can transfer the virus from the surface to yourself. When coughing or sneezing, cover your mouth and nose with the bend of your elbow or use a disposable tissue. If a tissue is used, discard it immediately into a closed bin. The most effective way to prevent the spread of the new coronavirus is to clean your hands frequently with an alcohol-based hand rub or soap and water. This will eliminate the virus if it is on your hands. Stay healthy and prevent the spread of COVID-19. speech. Your family to record your speech in video. The thing is that you upload your video on Google Classroom. The due date is 25 April. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you next time. Thank you.